Salutations, everyone. My name is Michael, <laughs> a.k.a. Rickshaw. And you're nerding out Rickshaw. And you're also nerding out with... Gee golly, it's me, Toby. Now, me and Toby have been doing some reactions to some of these videos today. Y'all call it music. Now, we all know there's only two kinds of music. Country and Western. So, <laughs> today, it better be one of the two. But, Toby, what's the, what's your suggestion today? Okay, so I know very little about this band. I saw a post about it, like I do, and I just wrote it down because, like, the, the headline was that they have four vocalists. I don't know if that's true, uh, but we're going to we're gonna find out what the deal is. So, we're going to listen to Queen Kona, and this is Boundaries Dissolve 2.0. So, maybe there's multiple vocalists in this band. I don't know. It better be country or western. It's both. <laughs> So far, no vocalists. It's the drummer. So everyone in the band. So this is does the drummer. Vocals, yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah. We're at three right now. With the right loop station, <laughs> you, every person can play their part once and then sing over the next time it repeats. Do you think that they were like having a band meeting, like they had gotten together and like, oh, who's gonna be the vocalist? And they're like, you, be all the of us. They all pointed at each other like <laughs> Spider-Man meme yeah. style. You, 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 you. <laughs> Doggy. I'm doing it. That's good country. <laughs>
shit. Interesting. Uh, that is a sound guy's worst fucking nightmare is Queen <laughs> Kona showing up and being like, wait, how many how many mics do you need? <laughs> well, I also think it's your own nightmare to have to practice your ass off to be able to do all those screaming vocals and play guitar. Right. Or play drums or play bass or... <laughs> Yeah, that's a uh, it's a it's a neat concept, but you know, we were, we and you were talking privately earlier about how like it sucks when like a vocalist leaves the band and everyone like bitches moans and groans. What the fuck do you do in this band when one of them leaves like <laughs> I don't know. It's it's very unique though. I do I do dig it. I have seen one band in the past which they broke up uh, really quickly. They were on the the Chariot Farewell tour. They were called um, Damn it, their their name slips me. Uh, but they would rotate. The drummer would take the guitar, the guitarist would go to bass and like they were they would rotate almost every other song and like it was a cool idea and concept. It just didn't seem like it would last very long, and obviously it didn't. Uh, God, I wish I could remember that band name. But they were on the the they were opening for the Chariot on the Farewell Tour. Uh, they were they were really good too. Like they were really really rad. Uh, but yeah, this is an interesting concept. I, I definitely will listen to more of this tomorrow on my drive home. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sick. But like I said, these guys better be practicing all the time to get all that down. But yeah, tell us what you thought about it in the comments. Are you a fan? Do you think they could do it live? Uh, also, if you have suggestions for other things you want us to react to, hit us up at nerdingoutwithrickshaw at gmail.com. And we will see you later, nerds. 